Now, Penny, you've spoken about your struggles with, with IVF, um, but, Rod, we've never heard your side of this. It's always interesting to get the sort of male viewpoint on fertility and, and you know, when, when you are struggling, you have to go through IVF. How was it for you? you want to, well, shall I tell you what it was like then? Yeah. Because you know what you have to do. Yeah. We don't need necessarily to... the nuts and bolts, if you'll excuse what? the phrase. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not necessarily Can the nuts and bolts. Can I tell them about me sperm? Tell them anything you want, darling. <laughs> anything you want. <laughs> well, maybe not that, but, emo but was it... Em what well, I, I want to hear you. about your sperm, OK? I was thinking more so emotionally. We analysed the sperm on a big screen, <laughs> you know, and uh, the doctor came in, he said, well, look, a lot of them are crippled, they've got no... <laughs> They've got no wings, you know, we're waiting for one to go up. You only need one. one. Only need one. Only need one. And we said, look at this one, it's swimming up. <laughs> and so we... Am I OK? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we got that one sperm, and that yeah. one turned out to be our little Aiden. But oh. oh, wow! Yeah. Wow, you can see it! You actually see yeah. it! Yeah, we had to yeah. find one that was... Because you get, you get, I'm getting on a bit now, they're not as healthy as they used to be. <laughs> But, um, You've run out. Still make a good one, darling. Yeah, but the process... <laughs> yeah. When Penny's... Can I tell this? When Penny's there, you know, she has to sit with her legs open and everything. Um, <laughs> the doctor went in there and with little Aidan in the tube. <laughs> there were three embryos. Yeah, we could have had three kids. But he, put it, he did not blink for 20 minutes. He was going and put in like that. Silence, get it in the right place. It is quite remarkable. Is it, isn't it? It Did, really is remarkable. I mean, obviously, you're, you know, you're joking now, but is it is something that you felt quite emotional about? Because oh. you must want to be as supportive as possible. It yeah. must be quite a difficult thing. Yeah. Man, like, we worked very, very hard at it. I mean, it was easy for me. I just, you know... Had yeah, we know. And then <laughs> ..put it in the bottle, get in a Ferrari and go down the hospital. <laughs> But you were injecting me as well. I you was have to have too. All the hormones. I had to have the hormones. It's, yeah. Uh, thank the Lord. Oh, it all man, works. My little lady. It all works. <laughs> and obviously, it's it's something that many many people watching at home will be uh, either they've been through or they're, or they're going through now. Is there anything that you know? It's, we talk about it as women, but is there anything that you could say to to men to just say to give them some sort of encouragement? Yeah, keep, you you must keep trying, obviously, and keep the faith and. Uh, have patience, yeah. love your partner with all your heart. That helps. Yeah. Helps everything. And good luck. You know? yeah. yeah. That's what it comes down to. It does. The two of you are such a brilliant team together. Yeah. You really are. <laughs> you, you really... renewed your vows last year, didn't you? We did, yeah. yeah. At half the how many years was that? They don't know. <laughs> Ten. No, I just wanted you to say that. Ten. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> and you went, you went the full and thing I wore again. And you wore a white dress, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was the hottest day of the year. It was 87 degrees. <laughs> Everyone. We had a big tent at the house. I'll invite you all for the next, in five years. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Carol. You've finally been invited to somebody's wedding. Yeah, well, not snubbed for once. <laughs> for once. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, let's move on, shall we? Um, and now, obviously, Penny's been on our panel for four years now, and she has revealed a fair few things during that time. So, Rod, it is your turn to set the record straight. So, here's the first thing. When I became a girlfriend of his, I didn't want to be a girlfriend. I wanted to be the girlfriend, or else it wasn't good enough for me, you know? And uh, I remember finding a photograph of him with another woman, and he went, oh, but it was my daughter's friend, and this and that, and I said, I warned you. Bye-bye. Mmm. What time does the show end now? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've well, got two and a half minutes, but it'll feel longer. No, there was... Um, <laughs> you're talking a long time ago, only 20-odd mm. years. There yeah. was one dalliance, yeah. But otherwise, I've, we've been together and it's been yeah. wonderful and everything. So right. when she gave that... Is that, that the answer? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, she did. She yeah. actually said, put her thumb down and said, that's it, see so me, nobody else, no sharing. And yeah. we've, that's been that way it's ever been since. been on modern ever since. Yeah. Yeah. But so how did you feel when you got that ultimatum? Um, I realised what a brave and wonderful, honest, wonderful woman she is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Not tough. She can be tough. She's I'm talking that story about the, when you beat the bus, but <laughs> up. Another day, darling, another okay. day. <laughs> Actually, earlier you mentioned um, the, the story about Rod had promised to go and see you and your granddad, and then didn't come for whatever reason. Um, and then you turned up at the door and, it wasn't and rang the doorbell. We wouldn't be together. Yeah. yeah. Was, what, what were you doing? 
I, I was going through a bit of uh, still a little bit broken hearted and I was getting oh. up late and not shaving, that sort of thing, not looking after myself. And oh. I just totally forgot about it. Yeah. I mean, this is a long time, it's 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Things us, have changed. Us women hold on I to shaved things. this morning. <laughs> 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 but was it that sort of ring on the doorbell that changed the course of your life? Because you said that's how you feel. Well, probably as a grandfather that said to you, we're Lancasters, we don't give up. Let's go round and yeah. knock on the door and go in. Yeah. yeah. So, bless him. Yeah. Yeah. Rod, you have such a zest for life. Uh, where, where does that come from? I mean, it's palpable when you're sitting next to you. Well, it's a, a love of life. You know, it really genuinely is a love of life. I love what I do. I've been so lucky. I mean, look at this and... Some beautiful children and amazing career. Amazing career and Celtic. Oh, I think it was an amazing cook night. then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Celtic one. And Celtic, yeah. Have you learned to cook yet though? Because Oh no, absolutely useless. <laughs> I mean, I really can't even boil an egg. Not an egg. Not even Nothing. an egg. Yeah, and he doesn't really need to do that, does no. he? No. no. That could be your new <laughs> hobby. That could be your new hobby. Yeah. 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 If, no. if the real Willie Oates finished, you'd get into cooking. No, no. Just no. can't no. see me doing that. No. 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 Well, no. listen, you're... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rod's album, uh, Blood Red Roses, is out now. The 2019 UK tour tickets are on sale now, and the single is out now. You're wonderful. Thank you so much oh, for thanks. coming on and being part of it.